my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. This is episode four of the one and done series for this game. Last time we left off, we met this little plumpy, cuddly dude, and he apparently owns this island, or he was like the keeper, and he gave me this entire island. Yes, so I guess I have all this lovely space to build. But um, we need to talk to him and see what's going on. I'm all up in his face. Harry Hermit, that's his name. Ho, ho, ho. So how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap, 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 snappers paradise, isn't it? Well, yeah. As long as you've got one of those boards nearby, you can flout, flout, flout the loss of space and time and observe the work of other builders whether, whenever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view, too. I'm sure you can see that the notice board is a super, super, super source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Lulu, no. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way, of course. What? What is it that you need, hon? It's, the, uh, it's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't even think a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho, 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 I knew that little la la lassie. There's, um, there, <laughs> there's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Oh, so I'm going on a quest. Sounds like talk to you again. As a young dim dim damsel, damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lack, lack, lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt you make much head headway with just the three of you. Oh, wood and stone, stone, stone are all well and good, but what you really need is people. You have to travel to other islands and bring back 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 a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rat -tat rattling around on this big island all by yourself. A few fresh faces will really liven the place up. Oh, well, I suppose so. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to these other islands without a ship? That's a good question. Ho, 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 a top, top, top notch question indeed, and one that ha the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Malroth? Hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a ship. That's convenient. Ho, ho, ho. A ship, ship, ship. Whoever would have thought it. Yeah, who would have? Who would have thunk? Okay, hermit. You're doing this on purpose now. All right, out with it. Who are you really? And you can cut all that guardian spirit rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remem remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever knew. But I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back, 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 back to me if I watch Twitch Worker building magic. Well then, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. Yeah, of course. I get to do the work, of course. A new destination has been added to your map. Let's head out. Um, where's my steak? My stick. Okay. Make sure I have my stick. Um, I think it's this way. Yeah, the arrow points south. Is there fall damage in this game? Like, if I fall, will I get hurt? No, nope, doesn't look like I take. At least I'm not taking any right now. So that's good. Hey, what's over there? Okay, let me not fall and die. Okay, is this our little um? Our little house here, is that what this is? Is that what, yeah, okay. This is our little house. Cute, okay, so the boat is over here. Um, are we hungry? I feel like we are, but... Oh, all of a sudden we have a little speed. Hey, what's going on? Ahoy there, bri me briny bilge ratch. Mm, I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minding me bee's knees when I sailed right into the path of oh, the children of Hargan slave ships. 
I managed to avoid him, but only by staring into a terrible storm. By the time I realized the map was back to front, I was already stuck in a coffin stain. Now, why is he a southern pirate? <laughs> All of a sudden, that's what he is. So that's what we're going with, okay? I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I eyed this island on my port board, bow and punted over. Mm -hmm. So what's your story? How did you young whippersnappers end up here? My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia. Or at least it will be once Twink is here. It's finished with it. It'll never be Lulutopia. Never. Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourselves. I am a safe haven for a salt, salted old sea dog like me. God us only knows what you would have become, uh, would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Oh, God us only knows what this guy is talking about. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Tell you what, if you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here to the second stain on me map's backside. Okay. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of my neck, and I don't know my neck at all. But if you hear of any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry, ferry you over. Well, we don't know any. <laughs> well, your boats have been on the small side, but it looks decent, Nick. I, it looks in decent, Nick. I'd say we've got a deal. Ho, ho, ho. It seems like everything's drop, drop, dropping into place. What? What? Oh, the fine captain will take you to nearby islands where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and able-bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing this Lutopia, Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now, tree-lined boulevards, spacious parks and tables sagging in the weight of freshly picked vegetables. In that case, you should first visit Furrowfield, an island to the east. Famed for its fertile fields and fruit, fruit, fruitful farms. Mm, that actually sounds kind of good. Some fruit. The island is home to a young lass with a bright future in farming and a dash, dash, dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help help your cause. I'll mar mar mark it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You just leave a seal in him. You heard the magic monster, Twix. Come and find me when you're ready to go, and we'll weigh the anchor. It was five tons last time I checked. Okay, well, I'm ready. I don't have anything else to do. Oh boy, Twix, where will you be hauling anchor today? Uh, to this place right over here that just magically appeared. Uh, so we oh, whoops, whoa, okay, right here, furrow field. When you travel between islands, your save data will be overwritten. Your autosave will be deleted. Please do not exit the game or turn off the system until you're okay. Yes. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you gather here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. Well, shoot. Fine. Twix is safely stows her stuff in the... Oh, that's convenient. Twix, Malroth, you've decided to go on this new island then. Yep, we're not sticking around here any longer. Hop aboard, Lulu, you're coming too. She's not going. Actually, I think I'll stay here. What the? I thought you'd leave all the hard work to us. Thought you'd leave all the hard work to us, did you? Just get on board. I'm sorry, but I can't. After what happened on Hargan's slave ship, I don't think I can stomach set setting foot on another boat right now. Oh, yeah, I can understand that. Well, don't let that stop you from exploring this foro field, please. I'll be fine here. I'm tougher than I look. I'll have you know. You've got a big responsibility on your shoulders now. Lulutopia needs materials, food, and new citizens. You have to find them and bring them back, first of all. You need to get over calling this place Lulutopia, okay? It's not. It never will. It never will be. Oh, and if you meet this farming prodigy out there, make sure she teaches you how to turn this island into a green and pleasant land. Together we can make Lulutopia a verdant, a verdant paradise, fit for a princess such as myself. Ho ho ho! You two got to go off, off, off on your little adventure. Lulu will be safe here in my care. She's gonna get in your nerves. Ha! And if we can trust a word you say, still it's only Lulu's neck on the line. Melroth, jeez. All right, let's roll. We gotta. Round up all these furrow fielders and put them to work in the sweatshops of Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. 
you and Lulu both, y'all can kick rocks, okay? Exit stage left, bye bye with the names, really. When you get back, we can have a grand gala jamboree to celebrate Lulutopia's Foundation Day. Bon voyage! Come on, Twix. I can't wait to see what furrow feels like. All this talk of food and farming is making my tummy rumble. All this talking is making, it's making me thirsty. All aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. All right. Well, he just, okay. Is there any beds in this boat? I mean, we're awfully exposed. Like, really? Sir, how are you, s this boat just does, okay. Close on his own, there's no steering wheel or nothing, whatever that thing's called. There's none of that. So the Lord of Destruction has befriended a builder. Ah. <gasps> I thought so. Mm-hmm. Malroth. Destiny moves in mysterious ways. Neither men nor monsters can escape its influence. Interesting. Malroth. I knew. I knew it. Huh. Um, but now is a time of creation. Build to your heart's content, young builder, while we await the day of awakening. Uh, okay. Well, I'll do that. But I need you to continue on. I mean, I know I'm a slow reader, but, you know, do I need to hit enter or something? Do I? Okay. Yeah, I guess I, that was me. That was all me, y'all. There is only one who can save the world from oblivion. Malroth, the Lord of Destruction. What? How is Malroth? How is that even a thing? He can save the world from oblivion? He's the Lord of Destruction. How is that even possible? Okay, that makes no sense to me, but, you know, it's a game. They have their own lore. You know, I'm I'm out of the loop. I don't know. Apparently, this is like a... Um, there's an actual game called Dragon Quest, which... Oh, Furrowfield, the land of verdant vegetation. Um... Dragon Quest is an actual game. This is like the building version of it, I suppose you could call it. Um, but I, I like the story so far. Here we are at last. That hairy hermit's got a nerve sending us all the way out here on a boat like this. The way it was listing from side to side, I'm amazed we made it here at all. Well, list or no list, you're sound and safe on dry land now. Welcome to Furrowfield Yard. Oh, yar. <laughs> At least I assume it's Furrowfield. I ain't never heard of this place myself, but it don't look like Baron or Zahan. I can tell you that much. Zahan or Zahn? Anyway, I'm heading out for a bit to get the, the lie of the sea. But don't worry. I won't sail away into the sunrise. I'll be back in time to take you both home. I think this guy's been drinking too much seawater. Come on, Twix. Let's get going. I want to see what this island's got in store for us. All right, let's go. Let's head out. Let's see what we got. Yes. Um. Ooh. Okay. Rest. Oh, we can rest here. Okay. Um. Let me just take my steak out. Um, may have to make some beds since we don't have anything. Okay. Let's go. What's this? That's nothing. That's nothing. Okay. Yeah. Let's definitely do some. Hey, I wonder if. Um. Ooh. This island's pretty weird, don't you think? It, it, um, uh, so far looks, anyway, what is that? Wait, did I, the trees are all withered and the ground's gross and slimy and the whole place stinks like someone left a sack of apples in the sun for a month. Ooh. Do you really think we'll find the greenery we're looking? Do you think, really think we'll find the greenery we're after in a slimy, stinky place like this? Who's to say? I mean, we, we just got here. Uh-huh. Whoa, what the heck is that? I was just about to say. It, uh... Hmm. It, uh, looks like it's an attack. It's some kind of pink pulsating thing, but what is it? 
Your guess is good as mine, really. I just got here like you. I'm not, I, I feel like, oh, what is this here? Welcome to Farrell Field, the land of plenty. Please stop by the farm and enjoy some delicious, freshly baked bread. That does sound good. I do love bread, so let me tell you. Bread is, bread, I could, I could eat bread every day. I mean, I do eat bread every day. Um, I've tried the low carb thing and I just can't. I can't, I like bread. I like pizza, I like crust on my pizza. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's some kind of fruit. I wonder what it tastes like. That is not a fruit. Do you reckon the whole thing's edible or, dude, you're about to get eaten. Okay, you, it exploded. It blewed up. Blur, yeah. The stupid thing just blew up in my face. Well, that's what you get. And what a stink. It turned the dirt around it all gross and slimy too. Uh -huh, I've heard of the fruit going off before, but not like that. This place is crazy. It is, it's crazy. Huh? What, what, what? I smell a fight brewing. Twix over there. No, help, leave me alone. There's no point trying to eat me. I'm nothing but skin and bone. Here we go. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Come on, let's go and see what the screaming's all about. All right, all right. Let's see what this is first. <laughs> These are nothing but dried up. There's nothing good around here. No food, nothing. Okay, good. Ooh, what is this book over here? What's this? The book is titled Furrow Field, Land of Plenty. Twix takes a closer look. The Farmer's Paradise of Furrow Field is far famed for its five delicious... The remaining pages of the book have been violently torn out. Oh, suspicious. Hmm. All right, let's go see who, uh, who's in trouble over here. Um, there's quite a few... Oh, listen. What is that? Oh, it's spitting stuff. What is going on over here? Look at their little blue butts. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're mad. Oh, they're mad. Malrob, you're going in. Oh, listen. Listen, you have to warn me before you start. Oh, you know what? Oh, they went down pretty easily. I mean, they're, are these baboons? Oh, these are big baboons. Oh, yeah. 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 The little blue butts. They're, they're bad boons. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Ha. That'll teach those monkeys to mess with us. Next time, let's discuss running in. Okay. Right. Time to get some info out. Info out of Sally screams a lot. Uh, is, who's... Who? Oh. Oh, you're up here. Okay. Sally screams a lot. Pretty sure that's not your name, but ignore him now, He's rude. So this is how I die as a dinner for a big stinky ape. I hope I give them horrible indigestion. Okay, we're, we're here. Wait, the monsters are gone. Those scaredy cats must have turned tail and fled when they finally worked out who they were dealing with. <laughs> um, we saved you. Hmm? Eek! So since when you two, since when have you two been standing there? since you beat the monsters. Oh, I see, thanks for your help. My name's Rosie, what's yours? And what are you doing here? He's Malroff the amnesiac, and you're Twix the apprentice builder? Wow, I said a lot, just that little, okay. And you've come here to find out how to add a little greenery to your island? Wow, that was a lot, I said. You know, going around telling everyone you're a builder's risky business, that's what I've been saying all this time. Twix is too, Nice, she just tells everybody her business. There's no telling how much they might react. Right, you're lucky you met me and I might be lucky that I met you. Yeah, hmm. All right, my mind's made up. You can make an omelet without breaking a few rules. You can't. As the finest farmer on Furrow Field, it is my duty and pleasure to give you the grand tour of its finest farm. Come on, follow me. 
All right. Before we follow um, Rosie, oh, I guess we're following Rosie. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dragon, Dragon Age. Yeah, Dragon uh, Quest Builders. Until next time. Ciao.